Oh, thank you. Welcome back here. Uh, that was all for Kayla. I know that. If I was out there, it'd been louder than that. How are you? I'm good. How yeah, are you? A young lady from Milford, Texas. Or, no, <laughs> Not from, quite. Yeah, because you remind me of a Texas girl. When I, I see that, I, you know, you, you've got that Texas oh, look well, about okay. you. And yes. when, when I, I say that, because you're running in a the Miss, I guess, America, Miss Delaware pageant. Yes, yes, I and, am. And uh, you are Miss Kent. Kent County. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah, but that's that's not the reason I brought her, Kevin. I want to bring that up here in a minute. But no, you, you know, you, you, you got a good shot because those Texas girls, I don't know, they always end up in that, you know, in the top five, Utah. top ten every every year. Utah. You know. Yeah. 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 So you know, Delaware right? hasn't made it there so, yet. Yeah. But. So you are the going to be the Miss Delaware, right? Well, yeah. if you say so, then I will be. Because you yes. represent Miss Kent, uh, Kent County, of course. When's the pageant? It is June 12th is the final night, oh, wow. so it's almost so it's, here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's right on top. Are you excited about that? I'm very excited. I'm yeah, I didn't get to excited it. about that. I mean, I, <laughs> I have I have a lot of the, the girls. We've got some very pretty, very talented girls yes. uh, you know, with a lot of... But what got me and what caught my attention, I was sitting, I was reading something. I don't remember what it was, and I could not believe that, first of all, that we had anybody in, in the state of Delaware that was in this, plus, you know, and, uh, but you were taught, what was you chosen? What, what is this? I have been selected as one of the 10 outstanding young Americans. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yes. that, I mean, that deserves a round of applause, too. I don't know about you, but that, that is one of the biggest things you can do, because uh, uh, there's been a lot of uh, presidents that were on, on that, and a yes. lot of famous people were selected early on with that. that, that. Now, what's it, where, where does that take you from here? Is that scholarship time? or Not exactly, but it's a very prestigious honor. I'll be traveling this weekend. I leave in just a few days to go to New Orleans, and there's a big ceremony there and a... Um, champagne toast in our honor. It's just, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be three full days all about us, all about the 10 of us. Right, right. So that's got to be, now who puts on the award? What is the award? The award is basically honoring people who are between the ages of 18 and 40, and they have to be nominated by somebody in the U.S. Junior Chamber yeah. uh, or the U.S. JCs, and cool. they give the award. And uh, like you said yourself, President uh, Kennedy received the award, President Clinton, uh, Vice President Al Gore received it, Elvis. And, and, uh, oh, and a lot of different, uh, you know, people, business people and things uh, that have really, you know, I mean, when, you're pretty much going to be very successful. I mean, once, <laughs> once you get this award, it pretty much says well, you hopefully. cannot fail, you know, you know, you know <laughs> Yeah, if I do, I have to. You should feel any pressure. <laughs> yeah. Yes, a lot but, of pressure. But, but it, it's a very nice, I mean, and I guess you got it through the JCs. I, I did. I was nominated by a, a young woman who's a member of the JCs here in New York. In yeah, the Newark area. Yeah. And I, I, that just really, I, I read that and I thought, you know, that is really an accomplishment to be nominated and get that. Now, well, thank you. Now, when you get that, is, is there a final winner out of the 10 or is it nope, just, no, nope. it's just these are the 10 yes. you know, most outstanding young Americans? Yes, and we each this. win for our own respective um, project that we do. Yeah, and, and, and yours is very, very complicated to say. Yes. So I, I, w I was going to leave that to you. That was going to be my next question. <laughs> exactly what is this? <laughs> because I'm, 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 I'm sure it's a very important issue and there's so many different things out there that people, you know, don't realize you hear, you know, yes. leukemia is my wife out here, you know, and different things. Absolutely. What is this program? What is this? Well, I volunteer with a lot of different organizations and I've started two of my own, but the thing that I was nominated for most was mentoring young women, young girls and young boys who have alopecia because I myself have alopecia areata. Now, what is alopecia? It is an unexplainable autoimmune disorder and basically it just means that your body attacks itself and it's not contagious, it's not life-threatening, and <laughs> don't worry, uh, nobody's <laughs> going to catch it in here. Um, again, it's not life-threatening and there's no treatment for it, but it just means that your hair falls out and you lose your eyelashes, your eyebrows, all of your body hair. and. Um, there's no treatment, no My cure. My wife calls it chemotherapy. That's, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what she is. Yeah, it's like said, this is a, a lifelong but thing. I, you know, because my wife's a type of uh, person and always has been that she would shave her head. I mean, it wouldn't bother her. She would do, you know, she just never cared. I mean, she'd done all kinds of different hairstyles. But I could not believe the traumatic... When do you lose it? It's, I yes. guess it's completely different, you know. And, 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 Especially uh, for a woman, yeah, I think. Yeah. I mean, at least... Well, Kevin's going to lose it. We know that. <laughs> As you can see, we're in the full oh, retreat. My, no, mine, no. I've given up. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I made it to that 50. I said, that's good. Cool. So. Well, I, I love... Um, I actually am I'm wearing a wig right now, and I have lost all of my hair completely. No way. I, yes, I am. No way. And so I actually love going around without my wig. It's so much easier, especially when it's so hot outside. That's, I, I, Brittany brought those pictures up, and I thought maybe you cut off your hair for... 
to give to cancer or something no. because I didn't I didn't really read it. So, you know, so <laughs> that, that that happens as, as at an early age. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. I lost my hair first when I was ten years old. And I went uh, about 10 years, actually, without wearing a wig. I just got my first wig this year because of a sponsorship related to the Nostellaware organization. Oh, wow. Yes. That is just unbelievable. Oh, well. and, and to go through life like that, where you, I guess you were picked on a little bit. Uh, you know, uh. Um, I was really lucky, actually, because I was just so open about it, and I was very confident in myself. I never really that had any troubles, you. but a yeah. lot of people, didn't a lot of young people do. I guess if do. you, you know, like, like guys, I was watching one on a, a HBO last night, Born Without Arms and Legs, you know, and this guy just, he grabbed he played football. I mean, so yeah, when you, everybody has something yeah, that makes yeah, them different. Yeah, yeah, So when you got that, you know, from that early of an age, I guess you just go. And, yes. Uh, but you, you are a very lovely young lady. Well, thank you. And right now, now based on that, is it on app? Uh, you know, you, you say you started two of your own. Uh, yes. Now, what are yours? Uh, I started two different initiatives. They're both nonprofit organizations. The first is Caps for Yaps, which stands for Youth Alopecia Patients, and I just collect donations and I provide support for people who have alopecia. And I just bring aware awareness about the disorder. I tell you what, I'm, I'm going to put it on. We got a minute, so I got time to do this. Let's get a hold of Perry Anthony. Up at, right. let's, I'm, I'm going to make a commitment to him now. He says, hey, you, know, you know who Perry Anthony Perry is? Perry Scarfo. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, Perry, Perry Scarfo. He is Perry Anthony Design Group, which was one of the most exclusive spas and daycare. Spas, oh. yeah, yeah, hair, yeah okay. hair and everything else. Let's get Perry so we can get involved. So the one thing we can do is maybe help get wigs for some of the. That would yeah. be fantastic. He does the locks of love thing a lot. Yeah, right, yeah, right, so right, that would right. Be wonderful. Yeah, because that's that's uh, you know that's then that's where it needs to support. I mean, I guess that's what you do. And, Absolutely, and, because there is no medical treatment for it. So we're still trying to raise money to be able to get research, research for a cure. And everything well, else. Can I just ask one quick thing? Because it's just kind of like if it falls out, will it grow back and then fall out again? Or once it's gone, it just it's gone? It depends on the person. Mine has come back once, I believe. But right now, I'm just completely bald underneath of here. And it's it's perfect for summertime, like yeah, I said, right. because it's so hot outside. I was going to so say, you got such pretty blonde hair, too, so <laughs> <laughs> right now. But are you natural? Is that, was that your kind yes, of your natural? Yes, color? we modeled this after what my hair looked like before it fell out. Because it's amazing what they can do with the uh, eight oh, pieces today. Absolutely. You know? Salon Rispoli right down the street yeah, sponsored I, this. I would never guess that. That would be a, a hair piece. Well, lots of luck. I know you got the thank Miss, you very uh, you much. Know, Miss Delaware coming up. And yes. I, I, you would be a lovely one to represent us. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, Hopefully, and, I'll be yeah. back again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, I hope you will. I, in fact, I would I definitely want to get some information for, from Great. you before we leave because that's something I, I think that Kevin needs to get involved with as well. And I do. I, I will get him. I, I'm trying to get him involved with things. You know, he, just, okay. But we, we definitely <laughs> want to do some things. So you, let, let's Great. talk some more. Uh, and, and you don't want to go anywhere because we got coming up the. Well, you could go with the baldness in the roller derby pretty bit bad. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah, I can look yeah. pretty tough. Yeah, I'm going to say without that. You can that, be the one they couple. sling along. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to take a quick break when we come back. It was a pleasure. Lots of luck Thank out there. Thank you so much, and everything. Thank Big you. Big hand for me up here and uh, lots of luck there. Stay with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would never guess that.